So today's topic, um, why they left. This could apply for a romantic relationship. For most of you, it's um, you're probably watching because of that, a separation of of any sort, but it could also be apply to non romantic relationship. Now, how can you make the best out of this separation? And um, in the end, I'll try to answer a prediction of based on the current energy of will they come back? So why they le left, will they come back? And the reading will be based also on how you both feel, but at the same time, how you both see the situation, but at the same time, it's more of how can you make the best out of the separation? What can you do? Um, what can you do to this person, towards this person? What can you do to the situation? And most importantly, what can you do for yourself? How you can grow from this? The lessons, the learnings from the lessons. And um, yeah, that's the goal of this reading, to speak a card. This is Grace again. And um, let's start. So for people, pick card number one or this crystal. This is your reading. Let's start. I want my goal for this reading. Why they left? How can you make the best out of the separation? My goal for this reading, especially the love-based reading, is to focus more on the healing aspect, on the growing aspect, on the actions aspect, on what can you do about the situation now that it's happy, it happened. Okay, and a little bit of uh, prediction of will they come back, but more on, um, I always believe in like, in the action, in, um, in that we are in still in control of our life. So based on the action that we're going to take and how you get, we're going to react to the situations that has happened, um, then that's how we can change the course of our life or of our path. So, um, let's start. This is the energy of your person. The card that represents them. Eight of Cups. I mean, this is the card of someone who left. So, the cards, um, that's very fitting. This is the card that represents the situation, the connection. And this is the card that represents you. We'll start with that. Mental Detour, Nine of Cups. So, starting from uh, reading this card, Nine of Cups in reverse. Oh, okay. I just noticed now that this is the Eight of Cups and this is the Nine of Cups here, which is your card. And um, so, so I'm just thinking if this card is going towards eight to nine to the ten of cups, which is the emotional fulfillment, or the ten of cups is not here, so the emotional fulfillment is what we both want here, or the the togetherness like the family being together i feel like especially with the birth into form here with the current situation for some of you this could be someone that you ha you had a child with or you want to have a child with but they run away so maybe you had a child with this person and this person run away because of the we have a child here um, it, they don't want to be responsible yet for the child or they're not ready for that. And then we have a birth in the form. So, I kept getting distracted. But, continuing on this reading. I feel like this person... 
this person might have focused on something else. Um, but deep down, they're still think at the back of their mind, deep down, they're still thinking about this connection, the situation that they left behind. I feel like this person is focusing on working and working and just um, doing things that will get their mind off of this because they can't get this situation this connection out of their head anyway um, whether there's a child or not um, but this could just represent that inner child healing this person needing to also This situation, especially if it involves children, made this person run away because they are made to face issues relating to childhood issues that they've had. They, it made them think of their childhood issues. If, if, I, if, if there's a child, like if they're ready to have a child when they were children, they didn't want their ch their their child or soon to be child to to experience the same thing that they did like they didn't feel they're gonna be a good um parent maybe for the child i keep getting the child so that's very specific message for some of you now whether they whether there's children and again involved here there it made them think of their childhood issues But I feel like for some of them, there is an intention of they run away because they need to think, they need to, or they left because they feel like they need to provide if they're going to have um, this commitment with you eventually having children or already have children. They, they need to be able to provide. So I feel like it's a very masculine, masculine energy here. Needing to be able to provide. Needing to work. Sometimes I see here, all they have to be is to just be. Sometimes, or most of the times, all we need to be is to just be. Just be ourselves. And um, not really... Um, do anything or change anything but sometimes we cannot um some people cannot just be because they cannot they don't feel that themselves are enough so that's why they always feel like i have to be successful i have to change i have to do this i have to do that to be better because even if you see that this person is good enough they don't see themselves as good enough so they feel like they have to do something especially if if this person didn't feel good enough for the situation with you for this connection with you i also feel that as another um another reason that's why they say we only accept the love that it, that we think we deserve. So this person didn't feel deserving of this because they didn't good, feel good enough about themselves. And I feel like for you, you need to you need to get your mind off this with the mental detour and a nine of cups in reverse. You need to get your mind off this. Just because you didn't get what you desire, which is Nine of Cups in reverse, the wish fulfillment in reverse, doesn't mean you have to stop leaving. Doesn't mean you have to stop um, living your life, doing things that you know that you want that makes you happy. So for some of you, you kind of stop leaving. Maybe. You just, um, you're just sur surviving every day, daily. 
I do sense that that energy of like on a survival mode, not on a leaving mode for both of you anyway. This situation with the ace of discs here, one of discs, there was something here. There was something planted here. There was something um that is started that is started here. There is like a commitment, a seed, something that's planted here that's grounded in the physical. That's why I think it's like it's not just um it's it's quite serious because there's something it's it's supposed to be it's like it's supposed to be long term or it's almost there it's gonna be long term I'm just seeing for some of you whether this is love related or non love related for some of you, this person, if this is not love related, I'm saying this person left because of they need to work somewhere. To It's like going towards the city, but at the back of their mind, they're still thinking about their the people that they need to provide for. So maybe this is like a parent, like your parent left to be able to work to the city. And they need to provide for the children, for you. So. But in, in with your energy, you just feel like you just wish they are here. Their presence is more important than what material things that they can provide for you. So let's see. Um. How do you both feeling in clarifying the situation? Situation, three of cups in reverse. What you feel, Nine of Wands, what your person feel, the sun, I see this person left. For some of you, this person left because they want to pursue the things their um, that they want to pursue the their their dreams, and because of that, they're happy. that um, this person for some of you they're happy this person that you're inquiring about they're happy if you just want to know like they left they've if they moved on and are they they're happy are they okay like well, how they're feeling at the moment they're happy with the sun here for some of you i'm getting that when they when they think about this connection when they think, I feel like this is about them looking back. When they think about this connection, connecting with you, they think of the happy moments that you shared. Um, it's more of like the Six of Cups energy of the memories that you shared, the happy moments that you, sh you shared. Or maybe when this person is connecting with you in any way, they feel happy. So they think of the happy times. For you... It feels like um, you've transformed, whether you recognize it or not, you've transformed. You're much more stronger. It's This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. So it, it kind of feels like very powerful, kind of invincible energy with the nine of wands here. 
you've had the worst this kind the kind of energy of like i've got nothing to lose i've had worst i've got nothing to lose anymore so that that's the strength and the power that um that i'm getting with your current energy you're not afraid to be vulnerable anymore that's what i'm getting usually i see the nine of wands of be feeling afraid to be vulnerable but that's not what i'm seeing here with the nine of wands with your current energy right now with your feelings uh, how you how you currently feel right now with the three of cups in reverse maybe it's hard to be friends with this person with the current situation with what happened maybe you're connecting for some of you you're connecting with this person and you're just thinking will there be another chance maybe there's that thought in your mind um maybe you connect it again and then you're like are we friends are we just friends or there's something more because it feels like there's something more and that's what i'm seeing here with the three of cups it feels like a reconciliation that is one thing to happen but um you both are very careful whether to like pursue that or not with the three of cups in reverse because i'm thinking the three of cups three of cups could be that that third party that other situation that other thing that work work can be the third party but um i'm not seeing a very third of party energy i'm not feeling that kind of energy from this maybe you're asking about well if i'm gonna give this a chance i've i started to talk again with this person is there a third party I feel like for some of you it's not there's no third party uh, i feel like for most of you actually so yeah i'm saying it's not entirely no contact for for these people here now if there were really a child because the son is again going back to the child we keep going back to the child um then this person feels happy connecting if they're able to connect with the child maybe there were actually a child and then you're allowed you allowed visita visitation so they feel happy connecting with the child now why they left i want to clarify why they left clarify the three of cups here in reverse as why they left what they want to say why they left what is this about by getting some cards here I feel like why they left for some of them they were um they listened to some friends that they shouldn't have listened to okay maybe some friends are like okay so you're gonna commit now are you sh are you sure you're gonna commit now or like are you ready for that responsibility um you're too young for that to commit something like that like friends are that are not good um we have here fear not i'm not on a tear i just want to say one simple thing what else what else this person want to say i'm probably sounding a parent right now like a parent right now and i can appreciate that it's a turn off i don't know maybe some for some of you this 
looks like a parent, their parent of or their parent like to you going back to, to like having children here what do they want to say they want to say one simple thing one card oh For some of them, they want to start a new beginning and let go of the past. So what is it? I'm, it's quite confusing here. Thinking... Okay. Now, because I'm thinking like, okay, so do you want to let go? Or do you want to start a new beginning? What is it that you truly want? Um, and then I got this. I want to reunite with you. So, there's a reunion that this person wants with you. And starting a new beginning and letting go. I say not letting go of you, but letting go of the past. It's not probably easy to do that. So, like, so they're like, don't fear. I'm serious. I want to start a new beginning. I'm, um, I want us to let go of the past. And I want to reunite with you. Um, like it's not a command. If they're sounding like a parent, it's not a command. But hopefully you consider. That's the kind of um, energy I'm getting here. So. Now we know that. Let's see what you can do about this. How can you make the best out of the separation? Maybe this they haven't told they haven't told you that they want to reunite, or you know they haven't done really a real concrete action about this. What you can do about this? How can you make the best of out of this separation that you still had or still have? What can you do about this person? How do you... Page of Wands in reverse. What can you do about the situation in general? What can you do about the situation in general? Queen of Wands. What can you do about yourself, your growth, your own? Every nine of pentacles in reverse. I feel like... With this here... these cards here don't be closed off or not accessible because I'm feeling a close off energy with the nine of pentacles um, be open And at the same time, keep doing, be open, not only like to this person, but to life in general. I feel like don't be afraid to um, remove that gloves and touch that grapes there. It, it just feels like don't be afraid to... It's like, it's okay to let your hair down, have fun, um, do the things that you love to do, that you, that the fun things. 
like enjoy your life whether even though on your on your own right now so what that's what i'm getting here with the queen of wands here what can you do about the situation keep listening to your intuition because your intuition is always right about what to say how to respond to the situation in general and be confident take action be confident um it's more of like your presence actually more than your taking action it's more of a to me the king of wands is like that taking action but to me it's the queen of wands is more of like the presence she has a big presence she she just needs to to just be she trusts her intuition she acts when she feels like um she needs to act because she trusts her intuition and her guts Um, with the page of wands here in reverse. How do you deal with this person? I know they're left, they left. But if you keep bringing back the past it it kills the passion i feel like what kills the passion here kills the passion in your person i know they this person needs to be um i know this person needs to what's the term how do i say it that they they've done something to you and that they need to turn things around and they need to be regretful or remorseful of their actions but if you want to start a new beginning if you're down to this if you want to start a new beginning with this person you need to stop bringing back the past i'm getting here because like why you did this why you did that you know when um when you've when you're back with your partner and um and and then your partner's like they, they've kept receipts of like the what you did in the past like they're like um they keep um bringing back the past and blaming you for the past things that you did it's, it just kills the passion and the connection in the relationship. That's what I'm getting. So if ever this person comes back, I feel like you need to start a new beginning. And you really need to let go of the past. I know it could be hard to forgive. You haven't, you know, fully, um, you know, forget about what happened. But it's also not useful to keep bringing back the past. okay i mean you can talk about it but not in a way of like you know in a blaming way of like why you did that if you haven't done this this wouldn't happen you know like it is all your fault um first it's like the acceptance of it has happened already mistakes has been done not only on their side but also there are some some mistakes that you've also done too okay and what's more important is the is it the connection right now what you have the connection that you have or the mistakes now will they come back well, I mean, they want to reunite, so hopefully they'll come back. But let's see if they will come back. So 
sometimes try try uh, try my best it's hard to get across the message but i hope you're getting what i mean so let's see will they come back to Nine of Pentacles again. Will they come back? Queen of Swords. Yeah. Finally. Finally. I was mentioning about the Ten of Cups earlier. In the three cards here. But finally we've we've gone back to the family here. The to get being together. So, yes, definitely this person, I see them coming back. I see them being truthful. I see them explaining. Okay, so let this person explain and then say what it is that you want to say. Uh, not in a, obviously not in a aggressive or blaming way, but in a, you know, in a more gent in the gentlest way possible that you can. But I see this person is, you know, um... We're going to be able to provide clarity towards you to explain what it is like. What's the reason why they really left and all that. The truth. Okay. You're going to have the truth. Which you deserve. The togetherness, the family, the emotional fulfillment here. And um, the nine of pentacles here. Which is like, of course they're going to come back. You're, you're, um, you've evolved. You transformed. You did not... Um, like you showed this person, you showed everyone that, you know, I'm on my own, but so what? Like, and that made you even more attractive. Like, you're so attractive. Of course, this person going to come back. You're so attractive on your own. You're thriving. Okay. So anyone, if it, not only this person would want a piece of that. If they see someone who's like, just on their own, thriving, happy, abundant. That's that's the energy that I'm getting here. So that is your reading. I hope that made sense um, somehow. And thank you so much for watching, for personal readings. Um, the link for bookings are on my description box and on the timestamps down below when I post it. So yeah. Thank you again. Bye. I'll see you in the next video. So card number two, let's start. As I said, um, I want to... The, the style of my reading is more ba based on not only how this person feel. Cause, um, you can probably already watch that from most videos, most pick a cards, but, and how you both, and how you feel, but more on, um, what can you do about the situation? What can you do about this? How should you... What action can you do? Um, so, yeah. How should you respond to this? How to grow from this and learn from this? So, um, right now the topic is... Um, why they left? How can you make the best out of this separation? And um, will they come back? To a little bit of prediction of that. I'll also include... Um, what do you want to say? in the in the in the reading so first is stopping into the energy your energy the energy of situation their energy so we have here their energy is balance your energy is uh, actually this is the energy of the situation and this is your energy so the energy of the situation is the teacher of wands page of wands and taking the hair font spirit and matter then we have her taking the hair font off the pedestal i believe this is justice this person was um probably became cold or distant okay so it could have been like they 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 didn't say they're going to leave they're just poof like ghosted you like they uh, um suddenly they're they're there and suddenly they're not there anymore that's the energy that i got i'm getting from this 
but this person needs needs balance in their life there there are some things that they need to sort thing uh they need to sort in their life but for you it feels like with the energy of the hair fund in reverse it feels like okay i thought i'm gonna have a commitment but um that was not fulfilled that's the energy i'm getting from you a commitment that was not fulfilled it even feels like a promise that was not fulfilled it's like your dreams of having a commitment with this person was not fulfilled you thought you were in the same page you thought um maybe there's a i feeling i feel like there's a taboo in this connection maybe for some of you there's a taboo and you thought you're on the same page that you're gonna um fight for this connection no matter what and then you realize you know you're the only one that's fighting and this person is not not fighting for this anymore Now, page of wands here is the energy of trying something new. I'm feeling like, I'm thinking if there is, maybe the connection was intense with the spirit and matter here. And then because of the intensity of the, the connection, this person left or ran away from this connection. But whether this is love related or not, this person wants needs balance, needs to restore the balance in their own life, on themselves. It's like um maybe for some of them they feel like they've lost themselves by connecting with you, they don't know what they want anymore. Um they need to you know when you feel like you need to reconnect with yourself and um get to know yourself again kind of feeling so yeah i just feel like you were just devastated you thought you know you already had your expectation that this is and this are gonna happen and all that and it did not happen like this it feels like this was set it's already set in your mind in your heart and then it didn't happen. So that's probably why you have this sort of attachment towards this connection. And feels bad for this connection. Or you felt bad for this connection. Yeah, that's the reason why you're still thinking about this separation. Let's clarify this page of ones here. It feels like to me the page of wands is very if this is was a person, the page of wands, because this represents the situation, right? So if this were a person, the page of wands is someone who jumps from one thing to the next thing. Like they they're so good with starting and trying new things, but um to me the page of wands lacks commitment. They didn't they don't um finish what they've started yet they they're um not afraid to take risks and try new things and you know have a taste of this have a taste of that try this try that um so i'm getting the situation is very fleeting it did not probably last for a long time for most of you so let's see clarifying why they left and how you both feel about this why they left clarifying the teacher of wands why they left reason why they left seven of wands it feels like to me this is someone that's looking looking up like god what do i do now kind of energy like um, connecting with spirit again with spirit and matter here
it feels like if this were a person um feels like someone who's um i'm gonna like this is what they're gonna say i'm gonna let i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let spirit take over i'm gonna let god take over the situation because i don't know what to do anymore i'm tired i'm tired of defending myself that's the what i'm getting with the seven of wands here for some reason how your person feels page of wands again wow maybe this this is what your person feels this is teacher of wands is a page of wands same card so okay how you feel nine of pentacles so you're like okay so i i did not get what i want i'm gonna leave my i'm gonna continue living my life focusing on myself focusing on uh, maybe maybe you're not that devastated anymore you were devastated about this connection but um right now how you feel about this is a nine of pentacles so it happened but i'm gonna continue living my life but maybe you're looking at this reading at ooh, how can how can you best um, what can you what lessons how can you make the best out of the separation anyway so because you know you're gonna change anything it has happened already um now what can you do about it i feel like you're more focused on that so that's good that's a good energy to be in the nine of pentacles with how you're feeling just living your life just focusing on your work and what you do in on maybe focusing on service i'm seeing here maybe with with your service has something to do with with delivering messages or using your um using yourself as a vessel of messages in some way um so throat chakra is very activated there at the same time maybe your um service your purpose has something to do with helping animals literally with the with the bird here now With the seven of wands i feel like they didn't know what to do and so they're like i'm gonna leave because i don't know what to do anymore i'm tired of explaining myself i'm tired of defending myself so i'm gonna let god take over like what happens will happen this um is coming off from this page of one's energy of how they feel they feel very carefree um so maybe maybe you saw something in this connection with this person there's a potential it could it could have been long term but for this person that's not what they see this person saw that this connection is um is only short term for them in that they're not balanced enough to be to stay in this connection anyway so they're gonna move forward to the next kind of energy it's quite an immature approach to be honest so let's see what they have to say I realize I'm overacting. Can you give me a minute to get sane again? They probably thought they're going crazy. They don't know what to do. 
I can see that my anger has been destructive and that I've really hurt you. So at least they know they've hurt you. What else can do they want to say? We got three cards here. Oh, now we're getting something here. Abandonment issues. Okay, maybe this person has abandonment issues before they think, before you're able, maybe they they felt something in this connection and the connection was intense. So before, and it, it feels like for them, it's really, really going to hurt them if um, this connection and will end. So before you're able to um, leave them, they left. Okay, they left before they, you're going to be able to leave them. I need to take care of other things. Yeah. they. Um, as I was saying, this person needs to sort out other things. Yeah. I got this in reverse. So th maybe there, this, um, this is not... This person was not able to tell you this, that they need to sort out other things, truthfully. And this I got in reverse also. I want us to work together in this partnership. It did not work. That's that's also what I'm getting from from this, this situation. That this, somehow this connection, the situation did not work. Maybe it's because of their own issues. Maybe you have your own issues too. But I feel like mainly it's with this person's issues. Yeah. And they've, they know they've acted based on their ego. Their, their issues. Okay. Because of th this person's issues, which is acting based on their ego and um abandoning someone before they they're able to abandon them so um that's a response that's an impulse response and this person recognized that they've hurt you maybe this person has anger issues too because um being anger being destructive here so what can you do about this this person this situation and yourself how can you make the best out of the separation? First, for this person, Three of Cups. For this situation, the Six of um, Swords in Reverse. And for yourself, The lovers in reverse. I feel like there's something that you need to learn here. Is that not overly romanticizing this connection. And I feel like for some of you, you're in love with being in love. And you've remind, romanticized the situation. That's why the ex when your expectations weren't met, it, it hurt you. You needed to look at this connection. Maybe you actually genuinely felt this spiritual connection with this person and you probably, you have that. But um, you also need to look at this not only intuitively, but also rationally. The intuition and the ration um, and, um, and being rational should be hand in hand. It shouldn't be just being rational. It shouldn't be just being intuitive, both. So with the lovers here in reverse. Now, what can you do about the situation six of swords in reverse? You cannot just walk away from the situation before you actually learned the lessons. So maybe you've oh you've just avoided it. Okay, I'm just gonna take care of myself, my life keep doing me but it's kind of, um it feels like you kind of brushed it off and um
I feel like you need to make sure that you've reflected on this, you meditated on this before you actually move forward. Um, because if you just try to avoid this, avoid talking about the situation, running away from the situation, it's not going to solve itself out. I feel like it feels like it's always going to follow you, the situation, in the back of your head, uh, of your mind. So it's all about just being, I feel like you need to be look at this situation in a rational way. It's all about just being... Being ready and being okay to face the challenges. Moving forward, moving on from this situation. And what can you do about this person? Three of Cups. You don't have to stop meeting this person. As in, you don't have to cut them off in from your life if that's what you want you can but i'm seeing here um maybe you cannot cut, cut this person off completely and you're still gonna meet them in on events maybe it's a co-worker even so or a family friend so you're still gonna see them and maybe it's okay to keep it that way Keep it casual with this person and um, stay friends if there's um, still friendship here. And that's it. Being on like high terms, like hi, hi, and that's it. <laughs> Will this person come back? Let's see. If there is a chance that this person will come back. Let's just see. If this person will come back. Will this person come back? Page of Swords in reverse. Will this person come back? The star in reverse. Will this person come back? two of cups in reverse no um at least right now with the current energies right now definitely not okay i don't think this person is planning to come back at least anytime soon or with the current energies right now i feel like you need to continue on releasing letting go Releasing on all the negative negativity, toxicity, the star card here in reverse. You know, putting that nourishment towards yourself instead of nourishing other people. So, it's, um, you know, self-care. Go to that bath, okay? <laughs> um, I don't feel like this person is worth it anyway um for some of you that will really really apply and i feel like if you're looking for that the one the soulmate you know i feel like your soulmate or the one is still out there somewhere and it's probably not this person anyway um learn f what you can learn there is something that you can learn about the situation why it did not work you know meditate contemplate on why it did not work and next time on the next on the on the next relationship that you'll have what it is that you can work on like um what what can you do to be able to avoid what has happened in this connection so that um, the same thing won't happen again on the next connection. Okay, learn, you know, learn something from this. 
because you, if you haven't learned the the lessons from this it, it the same situation it feels like if you haven't learned what you need to learn from this situation you you're gonna attract the same situation again but a different person okay so that is your reading thank you so much for watching for link on how to book a reading with me i put it in my description box and on the timestamps down below and thank you so much for watching and i'm sending you love and light even though it's not always love and light and i'll see you in my next video bye so let me say one thing i feel like um these people you viewers have a very vibrant energy of like the go 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 energy very like um positive lively person okay so hopefully you haven't lost that part of you that side um uh, you know that that um that side of yourself that bubbly happy positive side of yourself so anyway with that said i my goal in this reading is to make you think about and reflect on um also advise you give you insight about the situation but at the same time um i'm i will still include how you both feel about the situation why this person left um but it's focused on what can you do about the situation how can you make the best out of the separation what can you do about it this person the situation and yourself so let's start with the current energy so your person's energy the, the energy of the situation the four of discs i feel like you don't want to let go this is a not letting go energy of the the four of discs four of pentacles um i feel like you've been carrying a you've been carrying this in your back like the turtle here maybe for some of you you're manifesting home you're looking for home you're looking for home in another person and or you've been dragging this connection with you the resentments whatever happened whatever took place all because you were looking for home acceptance that feeling of home but with the turtle here you are the home. You are you are already at home. Okay. And you don't realize that. You're already home. You keep wondering, you keep exploring, but you already home. Home is within you. If that makes sense. That now with the healer of swords here in reverse, I don't feel like this connection has been very honest anyway. Maybe the honesty here was the issue there's a lack of clarity in this connection maybe that's why you're seeking um towards you're attracted towards this video of like because you're finding clarity can't blame you for that now the energy of your person is the nine of wands i feel like with the mapping the mind here it's the it's like there's still this energy of like where did i go wrong keep thinking about where did i go wrong why did this happen why this separation happened and then with the nine of wands here the energy of your person i feel like there's a focus on lust here on lust instead of love I don't know if your person seeking lust in other people, but it could be. Hopefully, this is not very triggering. Um, but 
But that's what I'm getting with the Nine of Wands here. Seeking other partners. Maybe that's the dishonesty here. So, I want to clarify this. That maybe your person is afraid to be truly intimate, as in being connecting deeper with another person. So they resort to surface level connection. So, let's see um, why they left. Why they really left. Clarifying this sum, healer of healer of swords, the queen of swords in reverse. Cause um, the healer of swords is like is a no BS kind of if this were a person, a no BS kind of person. But maybe there's a lot of BS in this connection. So that having that reverse. So let's see. Why this person left? Maybe for some of you, you already know. Let's see. The Empress. I feel like this person could not handle you. The Goddess, the Empress here. <laughs> they could not handle you. They don't know how to handle you because you're a very empowered person. It feels like you don't need them. Maybe this person wants to feel like they are needed. Okay. And you weren't able to provide that need to them because you got it. You got your stuff together. Anyway. Hmm. How can this be an issue? You know, how can this be, this be an issue? You're empowered on your own. You're the empress. You're abundant. It feels like you're on a pedestal. I feel like this represents you, whether you're the emp whether you're a woman. Um, even though this is a feminine energy, it doesn't doesn't mean like you're a woman, or this could apply to men too, being that empowered. What's wrong? <laughs> Let's see um, how this person feel, how you feel, and um, let's see on what they want to say. So, how you feel first, the moon in reverse, this word secrets, okay, the magician in reverse. Hmm. How your person feel. The Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like your person are still in the dark. They still, if they're seeking um, whatever they're seeking on other people. Or whatever they're seeking out there. They weren't able to, still able, they're still not able to find that. And I feel like um, they're they have like with the, their thoughts here. They don't have a good thought pattern. Maybe this person even have um, could be mental health issues. Um, whether they're speaking about that or not. Because it feels like their their mind is in chaos. And they were defeated by their mind. They were defeated by their fear. They were defeated by their mind. And because of that, they lost you. Which is one of the, um, the, the only good thing that they have in their life. And... You, how you're currently feeling right now. For some of you, you kind of want to seek revenge because you feel still feel resentful of what has happened. So hopefully you don't pursue that because that's not going to result into anything good anyway. 
there's a feeling like I'm angry. You know, if you're angry, release that in a healthy way. That's fine. It's okay to be angry. Because of like, you know, the secrets, the... the um. Okay. You kind of feel like you want to manipulate the situation into into um what would benefit you and all that so <laughs> if there's anything i don't feel I, I don't feel like good feelings about this you haven't let go of this connection because you haven't forgiven this person and i'm not asking you to forgive at least right now try to but don't force it if you cannot um but hopefully you slowly let go or release this um this pain this anger this what can you do about this um what they want to say let's see what they want to say to you what this person want to say to you anything you want to say do you come on do you hate me i mean you probably do and this person actually feel that energy whether you're telling them that or not um do you hate me for what took place what had happened i kind of felt hate there to be honest with your feelings and what they want to say i feel embarrassed they're embarrassed of what has happened how they spoke to you they're embarrassed <laughs> at the bottom of the deck you're being a bully uh, maybe maybe you are maybe you're not they're bit of trying to be a bully but hey they kind of deserved it <laughs> to be honest but um you know anyway But that doesn't mean that we're going to be, you know, a bully and all that. Even though it's rightful anger. Is that the, the right term? Rightful. Anyway, what else do you want to say? Do you, want, do you hate me? <laughs> See, they, can't, they still can't stop thinking about you. Now you can't stop thinking about my uh, my viewers. Hmm. Can't stop thinking about you. And what else would you want to say? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Anyway, I want to be understanding towards your person so they want to say that um they they did want to offer love but they needed find to find that love within themselves first so maybe this person really don't know how to love because they haven't loved uh, they don't love themselves okay how can you love we don't when you don't love yourself we don't when you don't have that love within you you cannot seek that out from another person to you know fulfill your own cup and i'm also talking to you viewers like that finding at home you can only find it within yourself so kind of you're kind of mirroring in that way but i feel like um the difference is that you're very empowered and you probably know that for some of you you don't know so i'm saying just saying you're very empowered wanting you to remind that um wanting you to just be light-hearted about the situation don't take it so seriously it's serious but don't take it so seriously and um let go okay let's find a peaceful resolution your person wants to find a peaceful peaceful resolution with you so how can you make the best out of the separation it has happened it's the, what's done is done um 
let's see how can you make the best out of this separation first how can how um what can you do about your person one card yep king of swords in reverse Healer of Swords, Queen of Swords in reverse. Now we got the King of Swords in reverse. If they're lying, if they're not truthful, we cannot change them. Just let them be. If they're lying, if they're not okay, um, especially if they've got like um, demons in their mind. It's like, if their their mind is in chaos, we cannot do the healing for them. If if they're lying and they owe that, they don't live their life with integrity, let them be. Okay. Let them just be. Um, what can you do about the situation? Transform the situation. Um it's time to it's time for change. It's time for the situation to change or how you respond or how you see the situation to change. It's like with the death card, it's over. Okay. You cannot get anything from it from from it anymore. It's like it's like you're trying to get nourishment from something that is from a plant that is already wilted like I'm trying to get more nourishment i don't know i'm seeing like a plant something that's a plant that's dried already and it's dying and you're trying to get a nourishment from that and it's not working obviously it's not gonna work so um what can you do about yourself what how can you transform how can you make the best out of the separation what can you do for you i got the nine of wands here and i've got the eight of cups it's time you stop looking back in this connection and actually leave they're already in their own way. They're finding themselves. And now... Be angry if you want to. Cry if you want to. Release. Just release it. And... Go. Move on. Move on. Start on that moving on process. We have in the Nine of Wands not all people are gonna be like this person so don't be afraid to love again when you're ready don't be afraid to trust again and to be vulnerable again with another person it could be hard because of what has happened the trauma and all that but that's also the reminder for you there is going to be a person who's going to be um has integrity who's going to be honest who's going to help you Okay, this person, whoever this person will represent for you. It could be a good friend that will help you get go through this, or it could be a new romantic partner. So um will this person come back? Let's see if they still try their chances. Will they come back? I mean, if ever they come back. That's up to you if you want to give them another chance. I already um, said what I want to say, like based on the what I'm getting as a guidance for you from spirit. Let's see, will they come back, this person? Still not clear to me why they left, but I feel like it's their own issues. So, hmm. Two of Cups, hmm. the star. 
if your person's i feel like um this person will still think about you still but i'm not seeing if that they they will come back they've been embarrassed already um there's a really 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 small chance that they will um but most likely they will not okay M more likely they will not so but they're still gonna think about this connection and what they've they've had with you with the two of cups here somehow i guess somehow it was mutual there were feelings there even though with all the negativity toxicity that took place then we have your home again four of this to me is this is home here manifesting home but to me the four of wands is also home the foundation they're gonna find they're not they try they will try to find you in another person but they're not gonna find you in another person because there's only one you in this world So, you know, focus on healing. Focus on healing you. Hopefully they heal also and they find... Focus on finding home within yourself. Um, so that is your reading. Um, I hope this resonated. At least some of it. And I'll see you in my next video. If you want to book a reading with me, my... The link is on my description box or the timestamps down below in the comments if I'll pin it. And um, bye.